All right, welcome back. 17 minutes past six this morning. Most of the broadcast is coming out of Nkangla in KwaZulu-Natal. That's where Ayanda is. Let's find out why she's there. Ayanda, another good morning to you. Good morning to you once again, Leanne. You know, Nkandla, as you well know, has become almost synonymous with President Jacob Zuma's residence. But people don't even know that it's a municipality in and of itself, boasting people of well over 114,000. There is a small town here in the area. There's a local sports and recreation center from which we're broadcasting this morning. And right behind me there, there's a construction site that's building an FET college. So a lot happening here. And what we're focusing on today, Operation Suguma Saike is zoning in on this particular municipality. It is a project by the KZN government that integrates a number of departments, focuses on districts to make sure that there's moral regeneration, there's social integration, and they deal with social ills. And every single district will have a champion. The champion of Utungulu district happens to be the Premier, Mr. Senzo Mkunu. A very good morning to you, Mr. Premier. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning to you and good morning to all the listeners. Speak to us about Operation Suguma Saike. Uh, how different is it to ordinary service delivery? Well, it is uh, different in the sense that, uh, one, it is uh, uh, based on the ground. It's um, a, a ward by ward operation in the whole of uh, KwaZulu Natal, wherein um, people of the ward elect a committee and they then man that war room. And in that war room, whatever they need, whether it's something from national government, from provincial government, from local government, uh, whether you have lost your ID or whether your child was beaten at school and so on, they discuss those things uh, in the war room and then they invite relevant authorities uh, for uh, addressing and for settlement of such problems. And it's unique in the sense that uh, it gets people involved in governance, it gets them involved in terms of uh, what's happening and the developments in the country, in the province, and, and they take control of themselves in terms of their needs on the ground. It's a partnership, as you've mentioned, between local residents, between government, but we also understand the private sector also coming to the play to deal with some of the social ills. In this particular area, HIV infection is a concern. TB infection is a concern as well. We understand teenage pregnancy is also something to look out for. Just speak to us about how the private sector also comes in to tackle those issues. Uh, it, it is indeed true. Um, Sugumasake, uh, Sumasake's uh, main focus is uh, on social ills that are ravaging our communities, especially HIV and AIDS in Guazul Natal, and of course other social ills as you mentioned. The private sector has a role. Uh, remember, uh, right from the, when, right from the advent of uh, the new democratic era. The then first president of this country, uh, Baba Nelson Mandela, came out and made bold statements about the need for the private sector to play a role in building South Africa. And from and we saw him taking private sector, building schools with them and so on. And from then onwards, we took the cue. And in Guazul Natal, uh, private sector are really involved and are playing a role. They determine what they could do in Sugumasake in local uh, areas. Sometimes they supply us with uh, uh, condoms. Uh, sometimes uh, in a community they supply school shoes, school uniform. Sometimes they supply us with uh, food where there is need. They build houses uh, for the desperately needy communities uh, or members of a, a family. They, do, they pay for school fees. They do whatever uh, they feel they have a capacity to do. And we take what, uh, what comes from them. Later on, we'll talk about uh, one company that has come out uh, in bold and they've made uh, a, an exciting contribution in partnership with us, uh, the government of the province of KwaZulu Natal, and we're excited about it, and that is uh, Toyota uh, South Africa. Having donated their mobile clinic, we will discuss that a bit further. I can see it in the corner of my eye there that will be going uh, towards the various districts and educating and testing people uh, about uh, HIV and uh, for HIV. But let's speak a little bit about the challenges of Operation Suguma Saike. Have there been any, and if so, what have they been? Well, the first challenge is that, uh, as you know, each ward must have a physical structure because uh, things like poverty, 
things like um, um, TP, things like you need a, a particular structure where people can assemble. And we have said to them, uh, uh, to the mayors, local and district, and to local councillors, identify a structure at local level, be it a school hall, a church, or even a rendezvous in a, in a particular house where people can assemble, where they can take notes, where can they, they can take data, where people who need uh, services from government, otherwise not getting or accessing them, can meet. And then those things written down uh, and so on and so on. So one challenge that we've had is uh, uh, actually making sure that each and every ward does have that physical structure. Now having overcome this in many wards, uh, uh, you then have um, uh, the second uh, uh, problem and the problem is uh, having equipment in the form of computers so that you keep your data and um, uh, just this year we have 14 million as this province of KwaZulu Natal to try and begin to address that and we have a particular way in which we'll prioritize wards but that is the second challenge the third challenge is that we don't have uh, full-time people but we, we have said to ourselves, you are not going to overcome your problems if you depend on employing people for everything, if you uh, have to have full-time people in the sense of uh, them getting remuneration. People have to uh, learn to sacrifice, they've got to volunteer, because it is us who are being ravaged by this, and we have to um, um, uh, just volunteer and, and help one another. And, and encourage active citizenry. That is, that is the We'll have to leave it there at least for now. Thank you so much for your time, Premier Senzo Mkonu. We'll continue uh, casting an eye on this particular uh, operation and this project in just a little while. But it's back to you in studio. Valen has your.